Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to make his way to Connecticut to fight here on Thursday, Bellator 250. Toby, as always, man, I appreciate the time. I know I was on your, your Instagram, and uh, you, you did the uh, the COVID test the, the in your home, uh, doing the swab around those. Uh, how was that for you, man? It was interesting. Um, it was, there was a bunch of us on there as well doing it at the same time, so it was kind of – it was. It wasn't as bad as, as I thought. Um, being that I had everybody and listening to them, it kind of made it ease. But it, it was all right. Um, I wasn't expecting to doing it myself, but yeah, it, it was all right. It wasn't as bad as everybody said it was, unless I was doing it wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, I know with ones because I know I've talked to the commission. It's not the uh, the poke yourself in the brain test, I guess, basically is about the best way to put it. It's a, you know, swab yeah, yeah. on the nostrils for like 10 seconds. But I kind of watched the video. I'm like, man, it feels like this is way longer than 10 seconds. Yeah, I think I think they're a little bit distracted and helping other people while we're going. So I'm like, uh, when do we stop? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, obviously we haven't seen you since uh, that that win back in December. Well, I mean, what what has been the last you know uh, you know ten eleven months been like for you? It, it's been for the fight world. It's been up and down. Uh, scheduled to fight May, COVID happened, Then I think they they pushed it to California for a couple months later, and that one got shut down again. Then I got offered a fight after the fights got started up again. I got offered another fight. Like a, it was like a two or three week notice fight, but was right when my baby, my newborn was a, was the due date. So I'm like, I I couldn't do it. Then I got offered another fight. My with this whole Hawaii got a quarantine, and my job just wouldn't give me off for that extra three weeks. So I I I had it in my mind that I guess I won't be fighting this year. I, I'll just wait till next year, and you know, I just I just I just eased off of fighting and then so happens I had a vacation I had to use up. My job gave me two weeks off. They say, like, oh, you have to use it or you lose it. So I took the two weeks and Bella, right when I accepted the vacation, Bellator posted they have a fight during that time. So I'm like, I'm on it. And yeah, now here we are. Obviously, uh, every fighter's got a unique story of how they've been training you know, over the past couple of months, uh, you know, based on, you know, where you're living at of, of kind of what the restrictions were, but what has training looked like for you? In the beginning, when all this happened, it, it, mm, I don't know. It wasn't as bad because we were still training, um, not at the gym, but we had mats. So everybody would come over and we still was putting in work and it was just more focused. Like, cardio wise we did more cardio training and and it only happened for a little while the gym opened up and we went right back to normal it the only hard part was finding more training partners yeah. i guess because we're limited people and there's trainers that they're kind of still afraid to come to the gym so that was the only issue but there was a solid of us like a handful solid guys that we kept training every day is it is it one of those things of like have you had that moment where you know over the past couple months you've just kind of sat there and said damn it man i had a huge win at the end of last year i had all this momentum heading into may and do you just kind of look at it is it just kind of like frustrating like man i just you know i, I never anticipated i'd be you know sitting on the sidelines for you know almost 11 months yeah it kind of was after that fight i wanted they rebooked, they booked me for me and I was stoked. You know, I was like, I want to stay active. I want to, I want to, I just want to fight and climb my way to the top. And then, yeah, I, I got a little frustrated, but the, at the same time, it was a blessing. My, I got to spend time, like my fiance is pregnant during that time. So I got to help out a lot. Um, work picked up when everybody else, you know, lost jobs. Our job picked up. We got more busy, so it, it kind of played out. I got to make more money and uh, spend time with my family. It was a yeah. 
I think we I think we've all done that. We've tried to try to look at the positives as as opposed to look at negatives. But you got Jared Scoggins here, uh, ten and one in, in his career. What, what's your uh, what's your thoughts on him as an opponent? What he's going to bring, uh, you know, to the cage on Thursday? Um, I feel like it's going to be a fun fight. Um, I just, I feel like he honestly didn't fight somebody like me yet. If you look at his, the guys he fought, he he didn't really fight any re- anybody high caliber. They gave me right off the bat world champs. Um, but other than that, I I see it being a pretty fun fight. In, in terms of what excites you about what he brings, is there something that we as you have you know you you sat and watched him on film, you're like, oh man, I like this. Um, nothing really. Just that he likes. He likes to strike here and there. So that, that excites me. Um, but And he's hyped, I guess. He, he He's coming into this fight hyped. And I look forward and it excites me to derail that. Do you kind of feel like, yeah, he likes to strike a little bit, but you you ultimately feel that he's going to try to try to make this a grappling match? I feel like he's going to try and grab me. Uh, yeah, I feel like he's going to try and grab me. But that's a scenario you're used to, though. Yeah, yeah. That's why it, it, it yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, we work every aspect of the game, and most of my fights is I got to look out for that anyway. So, Like, I, I was talking to another fighter before you, and, and he's a striker. And I said, you know that for the most part, people are going to look to grapple you at some point. I said, do you look at that as like, uh, as a, okay, they underestimate my ground abilities, or do you look at and say, they respect my striking ability so much, they don't want to try to have a matchup that way? I, it has in both ways, I feel. Um, I just feel like they feel safer trying to take me down. But at the same time, I do have, takedowns and ground and pound i just haven't been using it i did in my amateur days and you guys i don't know you guys might just see it this fight um i feel like i have a pretty vicious ground and pound which nobody's seen so like sometimes i look at that i say like it's you don't want to put all your tools out for public knowledge. Like I, I like I look at like tomorrow's the, the Gaethje and, and and Habib fight. It's like we all yeah. know Justin has this wrestling abilities, but it's this tool set we've never seen. So it's like it becomes this big unknown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I like it, but at the same time, you know, my coach it, he's been telling me every from before fights, before like a few fights ago, he said. He keeps reminding me and telling me that nobody really knows. Nobody got to see the real me yet, like my all around game. And he said, he said it's time for people to see it because all they think about is, oh, I fighting Toby. He likes to strike. So, yeah, it, it goes both ways, I guess. Have you and your coach talked about what it's going to be like on Thursday night in terms of no fans in the building and? kind of how it's it's gonna you know feel for you a little bit not too much it, it all we looking at is just another fight in like training you know hard yeah, yeah. going to the gym and hard sparring um it, it's gonna be interesting <laughs> You know, obviously, you know, when you get to Connecticut, you got to do the whole quarantine for, you know, 48 hours and all that. I mean, you know, training in a hotel room, like, it, it, have you thought about that aspect of it? Oh, wait, it, is it 48 hours or 24 hours? Twenty. Uh-huh. Maybe, maybe it's 24. I, mean, I, I think it's 24. On- I think initially it was 48 when they first started. But I think I think it's basically once they have that negative COVID test, you're good. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I, I, we, me and my coach been talking about it. Um. We we're kind of prepared though. We got I I bringing up my portable sauna, um, a bunch of games to keep our minds off of it. You know, I brought my own cooking stuff. I asked I asked if we get to you know do a grocery run before that. They told us no. I was like, oh, but it should be interesting. I guess it gives us more time to recover and relax. Does it? Do you think it's going to make it feel more like a business trip than a normal fight week? Yeah. Because like, in, in a way, but... like there's a way there's no, it becomes no distractions because it's just you and your coaches. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, in a way, every every trip is a business trip. Every flight, yeah. we're going there for business, not pleasure. But yeah, it, it's gonna seem more just biz, straight to business. No, not even sightseeing, nothing. To, just go to work. Obviously, there's a lot of hype around this division right now. A lot Bellator signing a lot of guys in, in your division. I mean, as you sat there the past couple of weeks, have you been kind of like had this big smile on your face, like, "All right, we got some names coming in this division." Yeah, it does. Um, I this fight, I'm coming to make a statement, though. I, you know, when if you if when they talk about like the title contenders, my name don't get brought up, and it's kind of like. What do I have to do to, you know, get my name in the mix? So, yeah, hearing all these newcomers, uh, it, it excites me. But at the same time, I, I got to make a statement so that my name can be in the running. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. I, I mean, you know, the first fight they gave me Dante, and I, uh-oh, Perez, but I'm still not in a, I'm still not in a um, contender series like, yeah. Name getting brought up. I don't know. So I don't know what I got to do to, you know, at least get mentioned a little bit. And of course, uh, we'll see here on Thursday night, Bellator 250. Of course, main card live on the CBS Sports Network, preliminary card on the Bellator YouTube channel. Toby, as always, man, I appreciate your time. Uh, let me know anything you on social media and anything else you want to mention, man. Um, on Instagram, you can find me, Toby Too Quick. Uh, Facebook, just Toby Misek. And. Stay tuned. It'll be a fun fight. Can't wait. Thank you for all the love and support everybody has given me.